this is not a horror film. This is a, this is a thriller. And uh, within the thriller genre, it is absolutely uh, perfectly done. But uh, it really works as a psychological drama, I think, and as a real uh, relationship piece in some strange way. That was the, uh, really one of those rare parts that came up. I mean, rare, not like a raw. I was going to make some witty remark then about rare meat. Rarely done. No, it, I, like, I like my scripts rare. It was a very, um, very powerful, and uh, it's just one of those parts that was fascinating. What kind of preparation did you actually do for the part? None at all, just learn the lines and show up. I thought about it, you know, I knew how he looked, I knew how he sounded. All that information came for me very quickly. And uh, so all I did, I showed up and went to the makeup room and they did that kind of white makeup off pale makeup, combed the hair back. I was very specific about that. Went into my little cell and when they turned the camera on, I did it. I think it's about the making of a hero, the folks sort of mythic making of a hero and the same as in any piece of folklore about somebody who's coming from you see their training you see what they learn they learn the samurai sword they learn the this they learn the armor they learn that and then they get uh, thrust into this forested experience where they you know combat gnomes and demons that are actually themselves and things that they never admitted and and parts of themselves that are repulsive uh, and only when you put these two things together where you know the sort of the training the intellectual the analytical and that uh, messy pieces of experience that are about some negative things and some positive things a really instinctual sort of more feminine qualities uh, that she can emerge as a whole hero as a human hero in some ways. But I didn't want to play the evil side you see if you're playing a, a madman if you play the madness it's ludicrous how do you play madness so I opted for playing the really super sane side of him the highly civilized section of Hannibal's mind and then all the evil that he is is there for the audience be, to make up for their own mind. And people talk a lot about him before he's seen. So I didn't actually act to have to act out anything fearful. You know, you are very convincing in the role that you play. Do you think that now, in real life, people will start avoiding you? Well, they won't be able to because I'll follow them home. No. I, uh, no. Unless people take it all so seriously. It's only a film, but it's a film I'm very proud to be 